Hi, this is Glenda. Um, as you can probably tell, I still have my cold. When I thought I was getting better, I suddenly got worse, much to my embarrassment while I was at Papermates. Um, anyway, that being said, um, I haven't been doing a huge amount. We have um, workmen here. We're getting our ensuite redone after many, many months of planning. And at the moment, there's a slight lull in their banging. So I'm hoping I get this finished in time. Um, I've been doing two things basically. Um, I got this stamp set. Uh, this is one from Kazaz that my daughter and I both really wanted and she, um, I got her a set for her birthday so of course I had to get one for me to make the postage worthwhile. Um, and the principles of this probably work with you know, any animals, not just Australian ones. But my problem with this set is they're not to scale. None of the animals match. They're, they, they're not to scale to each other. They're not to scale to any of the trees or scenery that I've got. And I thought there were a lot of samples in the book. And when I had a closer look, there really weren't. Um, so I was struggling with ideas of how to make them work. So these are the ones I've come up with initially. And um, one idea I do like is um, putting it sort of on the sentiment in front so it doesn't have to be part of the scene it can kind of be in front of the scene um, so that was was one go but you see how you know uh, I don't know if you know what size a wombat is but compared to a gum tree this one's a giant this would be a scary wombat um, the kangaroo again is quite big compared to anything I've got um, and um, Here's the, the koala who's, when compared to the kangaroo, um, you know, he's, he's just not to scale. Um, and the other one I did here was the cocky, who, yes, he would be a very scary cocky. I mean, cockies are big, but not like that they're not. So um, I've been playing with the scan and cut and trying to get it cut to cut my little animals so I could have them kind of in front. And it is so hit and miss whether it will work. Um, out of this set, under no circumstances will it cut the kangaroo. It just does not want to know about that. Um, the echidna, I put it in, it cut it perfectly. Um, the cocky, it missed the first time it didn't see it the second time it saw it and cut same like I just rescanned the same image I did three koalas identical and it's cut two of them and never saw the third one at all the contrast to my eye looked the same on all of them it it's really hit and miss when it works it's wonderful and the rest of the time it can just be really frustrating I've been trying the idea where you um, put a black image over the top of your stamp and get it to scan that then take that away and cut it and I had some very limited success um, it's yeah I mean I don't know what the difference is I did cut out the emus um, to me that is just as fine a line as that is it, it's very strange anyway the file I have for the scan and cut owners today is this tree and um, I'll put a link to um, a free copy of that file and although it's a very Aussie tree um, and it is all there I've cut it off because it went over the edge of my card and it doesn't have these extra branches on it I added that so I had somewhere for my cocky to sit um, anyway it you know depending how you color it and where you put it it's going to look like just any tree but I thought it was quite a nice one and there was no tree file supplied with a scan and cut um, my list of things that aren't with it is far longer than what is with it um, and the other thing I wanted to mention um, I'll put the link to the lady below but she doesn't have a lot of subscribers but she has got some excellent tutorials on using the canvas um, scan and cut software online um, and also using Inkscape to get files for your scan and cut um, and her name was Apple Lover 53 or something like that but anyway I'll put the link underneath um, so if you've got a scan and cut and want to learn different ways of making your own files she is really worth having a look at um, 
so that's what I've been up to and if you happen to have these Kazaz stamps good luck finding any samples and I would love to see other people's samples of what they've come up with it because as I say I'm struggling a bit they, I loved the stamp set I really 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 wanted it and so did my daughter and and yet now I've got it it's making me work hard um, and I'm not in the mood to work hard I'm really not so anyway they're my Aussie cards and my cutting experiences and that's all I'm up to and yes the quiet has lasted long enough to do this how much longer I don't know so I'm going to go now thank you for watching